In this video, I'm going to be replacing the tailgate lift support struts on my Nissan Pathfinder with these uh, replacement strong arm brand replacement struts. The reason I'm doing this is because the lift gate doesn't open all the way under its own power and it closes so fast it scrambles the backup camera. There's two retaining clips that will be removed with a flathead screwdriver and before I do that, I'm just going to jam a hockey stick in the door frame so it doesn't come slamming down when I remove that first strut. You don't need a hockey stick, anything will work. So you can see there's a little cutout in the strut where you can slide the screwdriver and you just pry the retaining clip out. A couple smacks on the strut, it'll pop straight out. I did find it helpful to lift up on the door and push on the strut and that popped it out a little easier. Once it's off on the vehicle side, you do the exact same thing uh, on the lower portion of the strut. Now before I put the new strut on, I'm just going to use some spray lubricant to clean up the mounting point and give it a wipe down on both the vehicle and the door side of the lift gate. The new strut just pushes on and the retaining clip will move out of the way and latch on to the mounting point. Now for the passenger side, it's the same drills. Slide the flathead screwdriver in and remove the retaining clip and it'll pop straight out. Then remove the strut from the mounting point on the vehicle. Again, pushing up on the door helps to loosen it. And now I'll remove the second attachment point on the door, removing the retaining clip and taking the strut off the door. Once again, I'll just clean up these mounting points with a little spray lube and a old rag. Although I didn't show it on the first strut, I'll show you on this one that these do come pre-greased so when you put it, you don't need to grease up the mounting points before you install them. And again, it just pops on. You don't have to do anything with the retaining clip and push up on the door and attach the strut to the vehicle side. So give a quick test out and you can see it now opens up all the way and when I have it at halfway it doesn't come slamming down. Each of these struts cost me $29 Canadian at Canadian Tire so $60 in total. Nissan quoted me $50 each so that's $100 and up to one hour of labor, although I find that hard to believe. So by doing this yourself, you could save up to $200 depending on your shop rates. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.